Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Make a Cypher RPG part 13, I think. Let's say 13. Um, in the last episode we kind of messed around with Shader Graph and the Dissolve effect and the Particle effect and we saw me going between the coding and Unity to uh, get it all working. I eventually kind of got it working, including doing some stuff that I didn't even realize. I forgot that I'd actually gotten working properly, uh, which was the send a message to the... Uh, from the VFX graph using code and um, turning the light off, which seems, it sounds really easy, but is something that I struggled with for some reason. Uh, so this is where we're at. We're, um, in order to use the shader graph, um, in order to use the shader graph shader to dissolve the enemies, A, I need a shader graph material for each of the objects within the enemy. So that's the body, the eyeball, the eyelid, the iris, the boot spikes, the teeth. So I need one for each of them. And then I need one of each of them. Oh, and the gun. And one of each of them for every enemy, which is what I finished off doing in the last episode was uh, just duplicating out the original materials as for the other enemy. So that means no matter <laughs> however many enemies I have in the level, I will need that many of these uh, materials. Um, so you can see, I'm just putting back in, so they don't seem to be working. I dragged them in, I dropped them in, and um, it was still, it still seemed to be showing up like he had the original this guy's uh, materials on him, so, which is all in this folder. I mean, they're all the same, other than the fact that, uh, so this is dissolving something, that's the eye, enemy weapon. Oh, that's, it's not dissolving anything. Um, oh my god. Ah, fun times. So now that I've finished, oh yeah, if you didn't watch the last video, sorry, I'm, I just conti I continued on from the last video straight, straight away recording this one. Um, so I kind of forget that you may not watch them in tandem, or you may not even watch them all um, at all. You may not, you know. I mean, I assume if you're watching this one, you're watching some of them. Um, I, yesterday, uh, well, not yesterday, so this is going up. This video will be going up to, to Wednesday, maybe, I think. Uh, so, well, today is Monday, the 11th. So, Sunday the 10th, I, of May, I, 2020, just depending on when you're watching this, I finished this assignment and handed it up. Uh, spent, what did I say, what, 14, 13, 14 hours? Uh, 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. Uh, working on this, and then doing the build, and then I had to do a write-up on it, and then I had to do a write-up on my group project. So, uh, but most of it was spent doing this, and I think I spent the last hour doing the two write-ups, or hour and a half, thereabouts. Uh, exhausted, eyes falling out of my head, writing absolute shite. But hopefully it was enough to get the grade. Um, so I've put in a... Have I made a... Th or did I just delete the enemy? Uh, do I have a... Th have I put in a third enemy? Uh, I have. An, but I'm using the same materials, which is bad. Because... Um, uh, because uh, I should be duplicating them out, otherwise these two guys would be uh, deleting at the same time, and dissolving. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing, uh, unless this guy has got shader graph, dissolve enemy teeth, this, yeah, dissolve, yeah, dissolve. It has to be a shader graph. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tapping my, uh, tapping my screen because I keep forgetting you just can't see my screen. Um, I wonder if I could, no, see, it's over there, over there. Uh, look, look, that up there. I just got like a laser pointer that I can use. Can you do a laser pointer while you're watching? I know you can do it in, um, I was going to say Photoshop, PowerPoint. You can have a little like laser pointer where you can, I guess I could just use the, uh, my current present day mouse. Um, so I um, need to make these shader graph shaders 
shader graphs and dissolve and then I can set them there. Uh, it's already done that. I don't know if why when I go into it it said failed to compile and I don't know if that could be the issue that I have where it's not showing up properly in the game view. Uh, if you didn't watch the last episode that is I spoke about that it's and you'll see it it's, it's very strange um, when I try to do it and then like, because it looks like it's working in the scene view, and then I go into the game view, and the enemies are kind of flickering or transparent, or uh, you'll see it when we get to it. Uh, but I finally got the effect working in the scene view, and I was quite proud of that. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, I have three enemies currently in the on the first deck. Isn't that right? Yeah, three enemies on the first deck. Uh, and nothing on the the lower deck uh, as of you know the time that this was being done uh, obviously I've handed it up now as of the 10th of May 2020 so there are now three enemies on the bottom deck as well uh, if I was to use this effect if it had have been working I would have needed uh, then six uh, of each of these materials. But it would have worked. And I think it would have looked cool. Instead I just had to like turn the enemy off. And it, you know, the effect the particle effect turned on. Uh, but the enemy just kind of went disappeared. Which is not what I wanted. But I was hoping the particle effect might just distract from that a little bit. Um Yeah, we shall see. But now that I'm finished college, I think that's uh that's why I brought that up of the date and this being handed up. I have loads, I say loads of time. I can now work on whatever I want. Uh, so obviously I want to continue working on, on this uh, sci-fi RPG. I could go back and continue working on Booster Blaster. If you've not checked out Booster Blaster builds on the channel, check that out. Because um, I quite enjoyed that as well. And I think that would be a fun one to work on. Uh, if there's anything else that you can think of, uh, comment below and let me know. Or anything you'd like to see me work on specifically within uh, game development, whether that's 3D modeling or 3D sculpting or visual effects or coding or making something completely different. Uh, first person stuff, we do some some little prototypes, some little game jam things. Um, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, I'm trying to pop the stuff onto him. This is not the best way to do it. There's his teeth. Uh, hello. Um, the iris would probably be the hardest one. Uh, there are easier ways to do this. I mean, I could just... Uh, I don't know which one's supposed to be which. Uh, sa -sa -sa -sa. I'm just doing my best. I get it eventually. I'm just dragging and dropping shit in. Into the eyeballs, the irises, the eyelids. Just making sure there's his eyeballs back. His eyelids are back and you can't really see it, but the iris is there. First two enemies. Uh, create a folder. Enemy three, enemy two. Okay, and then basically I'm gonna have to duplicate all these and drag them in there. So we don't need to see me do that. I'm just control Ding on each of these, and then I will drag in the duplicates into this folder, and then I'll pop them on the third enemy. So let's, yeah, you can see it there. It's all coming on. It's all it's, it's dissolving. Once we get them back, uh, is that him? Looks pretty good. We're gonna put in some waypoints for him to move around as well, do some little patrolly stuff. And then we This is an, an empty game object called an emitter that I doesn't seem to be in the scene. So I'm gonna delete it. I think I was using that for uh originally I'd put that as a child of the enemies and I was trying to omit the particle from that. And whereas now I'm just using their hip because that's already a part of their 
their body. So that's the easier way to do it. Um, so we're going to test it with three different people. Because that's how many enemies I have current... Uh, uh, as of when this was been, was done, I had three enemies in the game, and so I'm testing all three of them. Come on. Come on, Unity. Oh, there we go. Oh, I killed one already. So one down. And... Okay, that's not appearing in the right place. Uh, does he have the right... Mm. In. Well, I mean, it was working a second ago. Well, it was working in the last video, I guess. But for me, that was like a second ago. So why... Well, I didn't change any... Yeah, see, it's working for him. And the light is coming on, okay. Cuckoo, cool, cuckoo, cool, cool, cool. and this is so it's the last enemy I set up. It's not working for. Um, that could be, uh, that could be. Just I have to redrag the hip in maybe, um, because it's not referencing referencing the correct hip. Possibly uh, everything else seemed to be okay. So we'll try it again. Also got really annoying every time I wanted to test this, uh, especially now that I have three enemies here, um, I'd have to go in and undissolve every material for each of them. So I'd have to go, like, oh, Jesus Christ. And then when you're there, one, two, three, four, five, six materials, three enemies, six, 12, 18, 18 materials that I have to just go through and go zero, 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 zero. 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 Uh, very dull. Uh, where am I at? Where am I at? I'm looking at nothing. I'm looking at the actual particle effect. Oh, I'm just making it longer so that it, it covers their body a bit more. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty simple particle effect. If I had the VFX graph open on the screen, um, and had recorded that, I could show you. Or if I had recorded myself making it, that would have also been a good idea. But I didn't. Soz. Genuinely soz. Uh, let's just jump ahead to when I test it. Let's test it. Oh no, we're still doing more material dragging. Okay, this is fascinating stuff. Here we go. Now for the interesting stuff. Enemy 2.0, current health. Bang, dead. Shroom, dissolve, much better. And then the body disappears, yep, yeah, cool. Second one, dead. This is the guy that wasn't working originally. Oh, yep, yeah. beamed out. And then body turns off, yep. Yeah. And the last guy, bang, dead. And then beamed out, all working perfectly. That is exactly what I wanted. Yay. Bring it into the game, set it up in the level, do it. If only it was that easy. If only Unity wasn't such a bitch. Uh, so save that, yes, because it's working. I was so happy. I was so happy when it was working. Uh, what's this? Oh, I know, I'm working on the... This is the laser effect. This is the gun. Um, interesting stuff this was. Uh, see, it's like you, you can't really see it. Um, I messed with this for hours. And I never actually... Because I couldn't see it in the scene view properly. Uh, and you, if this is what I'm working on now, you'll you'll get to see that. Um, where it just did not appear, and I tried so much with it, uh, and then I went back to the the game to actually like finish working on the on the prototype on the project to to hand it up, 
and suddenly it was not only was it working it was um the light was just super bright because i must have bumped it up to try and see it uh well, let's see if it was not working in see view at all oh there's a there there's a dog again saying hello um yeah just this is <laughs> she is not impressed yeah maybe she's pissed off every time unity just messes up on me <laughs> um so for this, I'm using the old, I say the old, the original, the, I think it's called the Shuriken particle system. Uh, not the visual effects graph because I want, there we go, I want them to collide with everything. So with the walls and the enemies and stuff. And you can't do that with the VFX graph, as far as I know, or at least that's what I've heard. Uh, so I use this. <laughs> and hopefully, I say hopefully it does work. I know it works. Oh, well, I mean, there's issues, obviously, because, you know, it's Unity and it's me. So there are issues, but, you know, this has already been pre set up. I'm just trying to figure out why I can't see it in the scene view. Um, I think I tested in the like, I think I am looking at the game view on, on my other monitor. I do remember looking between the game view and the scene view and going, why can't I see it in the game view either? Uh, and I even, I added a light in, even though this has a directional light, I added lighting in in case it wasn't being, like the laser wasn't being lit. Uh, like I tried so much stuff. Uh, nothing's, is anything happening here? Oh, pew, pew, pew. Um, so yeah, I worked with the virtual, I'm just trying to. This is something shitty that I drew in Photoshop. <laughs> like literally, I just like I smudged it. I use the smudge tool loads. I drew an arrow and then just use the smudge tool. I was like, ah. um, just because you can, you can do that. You can create your own little particle effects if you can draw and stuff. Oh, excuse me. And where are we going? A mission. I am just bumping that up to see if it makes a difference, if I can see it, if it helps me see it. Pew pew. I do like the sub emitter. The sub emitter is very satisfying when it uh, hits the wall and you get all these little sparks showering out and, and dissolving. This is pretty cool. I like that. Um, Uh, so I'm going to do burst. I'm just going to try a burst, maybe. One burst. Uh, one burst. One burst every one second. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Pew. Slow mo. Pew. Pew. I see it's kind of disappearing and then like. And the trail disappears. The trail is not supposed to disappear. Uh, there's a thing. There's a thing here. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Uh, slides of pixels. There is something here that's like. Or maybe it's in. Ren no, it's got to be in trails. Uh, Whatever, but this is so about us generate lighting color with inherent particle color size versus die with particles is, is not turned on. That's the one I was looking for. Uh, which means that it shouldn't disappear when the particle disappears. But it does. So I don't know. Like in my head, I'm not doing anything. Like this is all, from what I know, this is, this is all correct. Uh, so why is Unity being a bitch? Like, is it something... I don't see how it could be something, like, 
if this is to die with particles, no, it's not on. So why is the trail dying with the particle? Is it this some because sometimes if you just turn off Unity and give it a rest and turn it back on again, stuff just starts working. Uh, we've seen it before with uh, the the animation blend tree stuff where the side to side animation wasn't working and then suddenly it was and I hadn't done anything. I didn't fix it. I didn't change anything. Uh, and Unity just decided, oh okay, I'll let you do it that way. Uh, so I don't know. Sometimes I think that it's just. Unity can be a little bit temperamental. Um, so that's my laser. Pew to the pew. I do something at some stage. Oh yeah, no, this is just me working on the laser. This isn't the issue with the laser not being seen because I haven't, I haven't broken the laser yet. Where I, I do break the laser. I break the laser while trying to fix the enemies. I accidentally drag one of the enemy's materials onto the laser and then the laser disappears, but then I put the laser material back onto it and I never see the laser again. That is the issue that I had. And, you know, then Unity just uh, just fixed itself again. So, uh, sorting fudge, that's not doing anything. Oh, it's, it's done. That's just a yeah, few. How, am I go? How many have I got now? Uh, I mean, it looks all right. Pew pew. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Uh, it is a little weird. Just getting it even closer. It is cool that you can turn down the playback playback speed because uh, obviously, if you're doing stuff like lasers that are really quick, uh, they go boom, across the screen. You can't you can't see what it looks like. Uh, so you can turn it down to slow-mo and pause it and stuff and you've got... Uh, the trail is starting ahead of the particle. That's weird. So this is what it looks like in this camera. Right. And then if I... Oh, if I play it again, I won't be able to look at the camera, will I? Except it's over. It's probably over on my other monitor. Oh, I think... Oh, maybe this is still used. Maybe this is after I've... Uh, dragged the enemy's material onto it and then tried to fix it because it's cutting out. That was an issue that I had where, oh, what have I done? Um, you'd see it and then it would disappear and then you might see it again. Like it was, it was like it was clipping out of the camera, uh, which I assumed, you know, has to be a problem with the camera. Uh, I don't know what any of these mean. Stop nans. Allow dynamic or something. Full screen. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying everything just to see if it works. Take everything. <laughs> Unstick stuff. If something works, great. If it doesn't, you know, put it back to the way it was. Um, it's quite strange. Ooh, Nick. Um. So, yeah, no, I go through a lot of different, um, a lot of different settings and nothing seems to work. I play, choom, choom, it's coming out, I'm gonna turn it. At some point it disappears, I don't know what the problem is anymore. So this is a problem with having too many problems. I can't remember which problem this is. And that looks okay. When it's at full speed, you won't really notice it. It's fine. It is a bit weird that the trail starts in front of it and then kind of slows down and goes behind it. But the chances of that being seen in game are, you know, quite small, I would imagine. Uh, I would imagine. Are we now? We're on the train? No, don't do anything with the fucking train. <laughs> uh, the newer versions of you have a new train system to the train system that I learned last year. And I can no longer remember how to just add 
a simple texture to the terrain. So I think I'm just trying to make it black. Uh, I end up just using a plane. Just <laughs> it's quicker, it's easier. Um, and I just move it into place so that I can see. I think I'm trying to see the ref the light reflecting uh, off of the laser. Or the laser. Uh, we have a laser particle, so we've got unlit. Um, that is not a good color either, because it means that it's not checking stuff, it's not working. We want particles additive. Now we've got my weird particle thing. And we restart. You can see the light is moving. You can't see. We were too far away to see it because it's small, but. Da -da -da -da. Laser particle light, and then there's obviously the light there when it impacts. There's a particle emitter, put some materials. Uh, I'm gonna. I go through a load of these different materials just to see if it will uh, show up. I. Yet more problems. Okay. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, can't see. There's a bit of a light. Uh, lighting, lighting. You, choo, 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 choo in slow-mo. I need to zoom in to see uh, what's going on, I would guess. And there's the light. Is it not being lit properly? I mean, it should be fine. Let me restart it. Nothing. Boom. Let's take a look. Take a look from where it spawns in. You can see it, you can see it, you can see it, you can't see it. This is the issue I was talking about. It looks like it just clips out. Annoying. Hi. And gun. And get yeah. the light still goes, but the particle disappears. <sighs> Pain in the butt. Oh well. So we try a couple more of these and just see what they do. Um. I don't really know, uh, that's just, nope, that looks weird. Uh, very blocky, not what I want. This is a, just a long, just me trying loads of different stuff. And none of it working, restart, that's just dark, and it still clips out. I don't know why. I honestly have no idea. I add more in. Is it going and it doesn't make a difference? Um. Yeah. Multiply, multipass. Very bright, and then disappears. How can something that bright just disappear? It is so weird. Although I do like that. Like, obviously, turn the light down or the intensity down, but. And then it disappears if you get too far away. Oh. 
Why? Why? Is there like a field of view for particles? Like it's uh, gone. Um, uh, why am I doing lighting? I'm, oh, I even tried baking the lighting, uh, which takes a while. The final big, bring big, baking, 13 minute bake. We yeah, will just. Uh, there's only one light in the scene. Like the directional light. Uh, oh, I just don't. I just don't know anymore. Uh, disappearing already. So baking the lights doesn't help. Uh, you might be interested to know. Oh, and have I, have I given up? Nope, I'm still here. Still trying stuff. Changing it again. Uh, what will I try this time? Particles. Oh, there's only one other one. Vertex. Oh, that's no. That's a texture missing color. So, what if we were to try HDRP lit? Is that, I don't know if that is good for particles, it's good for other stuff. Uh, well, it works. You got your... I mean... Use emission. Make it like a purpley emission. <laughs> I'm trying all this before I even play the effect and see if it works. Restart it. Completely disappeared. But the light is still there. Uh, I'm gonna bump up the emission intensity. Nope. No. Ow. Oh. Oh, disk interactive. I just try loads of these. Uh, none of them seem to work. We'll just go through it really. Oh, there was this, and it disappeared. So this is. I actually should look at what's what's on it now because it's working in the game oh no, no, no too far away and it disappears keep going okay and then boom so if you follow it it's just if it gets too far away it clips out do they have a range then start i mean i know they've got all this stuff start size but like a uh, a range in the renderer, normal directions, uh, sort mode. This is the size, the flip, the pivot, visualize, uh, masking, to create shadow, shadow mask, motion vectors, sorting layers, order layers, light probes, reflection probes, and rendering mask. Um, so none of this is making a difference. Well, poo. No. On the uh, clipping planes, so you can see when I mess with the clipping planes, it's kind of become invisible. But then when I play it, it's it it. Uh, It's, you can't see it in the game view, but I do remember that it, it does clip out of the game view again. And that's what we think was something to do with the camera and the clipping planes, or if there's a particle clipping option thing in, in here somewhere. Um, just, I'm just trying everything to change the priority. 
Change to super high, super low. Does it do anything? No. Change layers. I change. I do everything I can think of. Mess with every different variable. Uh, even the ones that I know nothing about. And none of it works. Uh, velocity. Oh, inherent velocity. Did I ever do that? I think I did. I think that's why the enemies aren't walking into their own bullets anymore. So, you yeah, know. At least that was something. What's going on here? Camera scale. Camera scale. Camera scale. Is it that? Length scale, normal, mean value between a few years, normal, normal. See, I just. I try so much. I really hope that the the next two hours aren't just me fiddling with all these settings. Because that would be boring. Like, you can see it. It hits, it dissolves. I mean, it's fine. It, it's cool. You just, maybe you can't see in the game view. I mean, it is quite satisfying. Hume, hume. Well, the trails don't seem to be working anymore. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. I don't know why my room is so cold. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, the trail is just, okay. The trail's been really weird. I fucked up the trail. I don't know, I don't know what I've done. There are bits where I um I just put in stupid um stupid amounts in these uh, in some of these variables and I break it even more. Yeah, no, no, that that doesn't do anything. Let's speed through this. Oh, look, I'm back at the enemy. So I've just taken a taking a break. I think I'm using the enemies to see, can I still see it when it's passing them? Yeah, we don't need to see me undissolve everybody. They're all back. Um, I'm going to set up the camera. Or am I trying to shoot them? I don't know what I'm trying to do anymore. Uh, and the clipping planes. You don't really want to do too much to the clipping planes because you don't want to clip out the other stuff. I'm just seeing if the uh, the far clip clipping plane has any effect on on anything. Oh my, oh my. Nothing. Nothing. You can still, you can see right through it to the enemies. This is... And... Boom. Okay. Main camera, clipping planes, don't do anything with them. Let's see, length scale, I've tried that already. I'm gonna go back and forth trying loads and stuff over and over and over again, because it just does not work. Um, it's like completely gone now, I've made it worse. At least before we were able to see it. And like if we got close enough now it's just now it's just gone. Uh, it is we're going to try a legacy shader particles. We're doing multiply because that's what gave me the brightest. And even now that's not working. It's gone. Why? 
What have I done? What have I done? That has made it disappear. And also, why is it back in the game? Like, it works now. And I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything. Actually, maybe. Did I? Maybe I've forgotten. Just repressing all this. <laughs> and just to do... Um, oh, some of this stuff. Anti-alias, aliasing. Don't really know what it means. I mean, I guess it's against aliasing. Um, it's against using false names and false identities. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of uh, jargon that I hear, and... Uh, I don't know what any of it means. Well, I know what some of it means, but there's, there's stuff where it's like, oh yeah, like even in college, they're like, you gotta make sure that the anti-aliasing is, is set to the... Da, 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 da. I'm like, what's anti-aliasing? They, they never told us. Um, and yes, I know I could ask the question. Uh, and I do. And then they explain it and I forget. The way I look at it is, if it's not something that I... that refers to something that I'm doing at you know, or I'm going to be doing um, relatively quickly or soon in college. Like if it's, if it's, if, if I don't need to know what anti-aliasing is for this project or the other projects, then I don't need to know it yet. Um, when I get to the point that I need to know it, then I'll, then I'll learn it. But right now I'm trying to remember all the shit I need to know for it. Cause there's so much, there's so much. Uh, and it's a little bit daunting at times, you know, there's a lot of stuff to remember, a lot of stuff to do, uh, just a lot of work goes into it and, you know, people don't always realize the amount of, of work that goes into something like this, especially like uh, practical projects, where they're like, oh, well, you know, you know other people can work while they're doing assignments. I'm like, yeah, well, sometimes other people, their assignments are all written work. Um, it doesn't take three months to do one assignment. Uh, and you don't spend, you know, three days working on something that you just have to delete and start over it. It's, you know, but it's, I think it's that way with everything. If people don't, if they haven't done it themselves, they have no experience with it, then they just look at the finished product and go, sure, that's, that's easy. Uh, but there's a lot that goes into it. I think that's why some people go into game dev and drop out then. And same with the, when I was in the acting college, like people going, like, oh, I want to be an actor, I want to be famous. And like, yeah, okay. There's a lot more to it than just like saying lines and moving from this spot to this spot. It's a lot of hard work. And then they figure that out and they're like, oh, you know what? No. I thought it would just be like, say stuff and, and move. I'm like, nope. There's a lot more to it. And they don't want to do the work. So it's the same. I've already seen that from last year and this year in, in Game Dev College. It's like people coming in and they're gamers. They love playing games. They come in with their Nintendo Switches and they sit down and they play their Nintendo Switch and don't listen to the teacher and don't do the work. And then they're like, oh, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm like, oh, no shit, you're not doing the work. Dumbasses. Um, rant over, I guess. Because this still isn't fucking working. To be fair, we also haven't learned much about this particle system either. We've learned like the bare minimum. Uh, so again, this is me working on something that I haven't learned yet, making things more difficult to myself, just because I want the effect. And I want to learn, because particle effects are cool. Uh, and can be used in more than just game dev. So uh, ideally what I would get out of this college course would be the skills that can be transferred to other industries as well, not just game dev. So I could do uh, be a 3D modeler. I could do uh, like 3D modeling for architectural design kind of stuff. I could do visual effects for TV and film, special effects, editing, that kind of stuff. Uh, programming, uh, web design kind of stuff. There's a lot of avenues that don't necessarily involve game dev, but I'm learning the skills that can be used in them as well. Uh, and actually doing doing special effects 
for TV and film would be a good way to combine my acting degree with this game dev degree uh, when I get it. So that could be interesting. And then I could still work on my own little uh, personal indie games or work with some of my friends to make some cool projects and see how that goes. Um, still invisible. Why? Why? I'm tempted just to scroll right to the end of this. I think I feel like this is going to be another hour. Uh, hour and forty-five minutes of me just. Oh no! I just got okay. Never mind. I go back to the game. Oh, I think I go back to the game to see if I can see it in the game, which is kind of smart, I guess. There we go. Takes a while to load. Because it's so big. I uh, I did the build and I played it yesterday when I built it. And, like, okay, my computer is not the best gaming computer in the world. It would be, I'd say, mid, mid-range. Um, yeah, it, it struggles a bit. Um, even when I was playing it on lower settings. So I meant to say it to my teacher when I, because I sent him the the alpha build, and he was like, "I tried it on my Windows Seven machine, and it just would not play. I'll have to try it on the gaming machine." I was like, "Yeah, don't do it on your Windows Seven machine, mate." Like, even like my PC played the alpha version, and the PCs in college played them, the alpha version with no issues. Um, but then obviously there's a lot more in the final one, so. I meant to say it in the email, like either use your gaming machine or play it on a lower quality setting. Because even my computer struggled. So we're bringing him in, we're going to test him, we're going to have to do all his, um, all his waypoints again. Same with this dude. So we just drop them all in. Oh, we're going to have to set up everything. All the materials, we'll just drag and drop them in for everybody, so we don't need to... Yeah, we make sure we, he's got all the good ones, we just... Uh, I'm trying to make sure that I have the right materials on them. And there's his eyelids gone, and his eyeballs are gone, his eyeballs not back. That's his iris. You can't tell with the iris. Because it's very small. So there we go. Dissolving. Things are working. We're going to play it. We're going to test them out. This is still in the theme view. Oh, I should have brought the game view over. I hope I bring the game view over. Come on, Unity. Oh, things are starting. Here we go. Have we? No. There we go. Player variant. Why am I taking on him? Why is nothing working? Oh, there we go. C camera preview. Okay, that's just the camera. Check this guy out. <laughs> Take his current health. Oh, the frames. The frames, the frames of it all. There you go, that's, that's the quicker way to do it. Just type zero, he should be dead. It's really bad. Um. Thankfully, it's not this bad when it's finished. It's bad, it's not this bad. Um, but it is bad. Is he going to... He... Oh, he just disappeared. Weird. Has it worked in the test scene? Why isn't it working here? Oh, we can stop playing now, I guess, because frames. 
Very, very strange. He's back on. Um, if I do have my game view, I assume I do have the game view open on the on the, my second monitor, and I'm probably looking at the um, the stats. So when I turned them off, it would have gone from like seven million down to about two or three. We turn back on, it goes back up to seven or eight because he is way too high poly, which is why we did player two point oh. And I think in the whole game, yesterday when I was doing the final build, two million polys is the highest I saw thereabouts, two point something maybe. Um, never went up to, I, I saw in the uh, previous versions when I was working on it up to maybe nine million at some stages, which was just insane. And, uh, we are undissolving him again. We're going to test him out to see if we can get some better frames. I'm bringing the camera to just look at him. Mm. To see. I'm actually bringing the whole player. I'll just turn the player off. <laughs> but we can. Oh, we can't see him yet. We'll click on the camera and we'll have a look. So we should be able to see it pop up down here somewhere. Should be. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll just. Until mm. he starts playing. Oh, I killed him. Okay, well. We'll wait. We'll wait. Mm. His gun is gone. That's weird. Oh, no, there it is. Never mind. Enemy. He's walking away, we kill him. So satisfying. And then the light comes on, he dissolves. Okay, and the light goes off. Okay. Do I ever show the, the game view is what I just, there's the particle effect on. Oh, okay. This was the original bullet that I no longer need, so I'll delete that. So am I going to be setting up their lasers now then? Is that what I'm doing? Um, da, 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 da. Their behavior is missing. Oh, I deleted some scripts and stuff that... I deleted some stuff that this bullet was relying on. I not realized that the bullet was still there. I thought I'd gotten rid of that entirely. Uh, so let's keep your project clean. It's a good idea. Uh, and this guy's walking around invisible. Because his materials have not been reset. Enemy 2.0. We got to check his materials. Point lights. Oh, I'm just moving some lights around, am I? Put lights, put them onto lights. Just to tidy stuff up. And then go back to my. Okay, we're back here. Um. Probably to test it with better frames because, but I mean, it looks it looked okay. What are we? Ooh, okay. Oh, level done. Okay. Come on, open it up. Open it up. Still not responding. Here we go. What the hell? Oh, is this a? Oh, yeah, see, like these, I don't understand any of this. This is not mine. This uh, HD additional lighting data that is, it comes with Unity HDRP, so it's automatically in your uh, your scenes. And 
I'm guessing I got an error, double clicked on it, this error. Yeah. Converting invalid min-max, AA, double B, you the engine GUI, yeah, I have no idea what that means. Uh, don't know what that script is doing. I don't know what that error means, so. I'm just gonna ignore it, because it's not stopping me from playing anything, although it might be part of the reason for the shader graph not working, I don't know. Um, who can say? Ooh. Back is sore. What do we got there? No. Um, okay, we're back with the particle effects. I'm just going. I'm just going back to this, I guess. Just trying to make sure that it works. Well, I say make sure. I know it doesn't. So try to fix it, I guess. Would be. Intensity. Mm, can't tell. It's, I mean, it's, whoa. Oh, the radius scale, this is collisions, yeah. I'm making a collide with itself, which is not what I want. So you need to turn them down. Because that's just a collider, that's not going to make it more visible. Quite a fourth. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, no working. Pause and catch up, yeah, no, I just, yeah, yeah, we don't really get it to, we don't get it to work yet, we, mm, I mean, like I said, it just, it starts working eventually, I don't think it was anything I did to it, I don't, certainly don't remember um, fixing it, but I guess we'll find out um, next time, yeah, so we're going to leave that there for now, because I think that's that's long enough to watch me mess around with particle effects and get nothing done. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button and share it with some people that you think might be interested in watching this kind of content, and then subscribe and hit the notification thingy majigger so that you can keep up to date with all the content that I've got coming up. So thanks very much, guys, and I will see you all next time.